Are we good? Oh, jeez, that's strong. Hey, everyone. I thought I'd give you a garden update. There's still snow on the ground, as you can see here. But there are a couple of things we could do in the garden. Boy, they are strong. And it is April. Yeah, it is April after all. So this part of the yard is still covered with snow, but our raised beds are starting to be revealed. So let's go take a look. So, as you can see, there's still snow on some of the bed here, but also this was our salad green bed last, last year, and some of the salad greens wintered over, which is pretty amazing, because it got really cold here last uh, winter. Well, we're still in winter, I guess. But actually, snow is an insulator. So, actually the snow will keep the soil a little warmer and protect those salad greens from getting killed by frost and stuff. Which sounds a little oxymoron-ish, but that's the world of Eric. But what I wanted to say was, there are a couple of things we can do. First of all, we started some seedlings in the greenhouse, and we're talking about that with our How to Start Seedlings video, which you will also see. There'll be a link right down here. But also, if you can work the soil, you can plant sugar snap peas right now. And I just did that. Well, you can't see, but I just put these in. Uh, these are uh, sugar, super sugar snaps, which is a hybrid, but they'll be really good. And I put them at the edge of the raised beds here, because this soil, there's still frost in the bottom of this bed, but you know, the top three inches are good. So you just drop that in. You want to use your legume inoculant. That's that black powdery stuff you get with the seed packet. And I don't, all I do is I put the seeds in the row and then I just sprinkle that stuff in the row. I think some people say you're supposed to wet the seed and the inoculant coats the seed, but I could never get it to work, so. And then the other thing we're gonna do is on this bed, because we have our greens coming up. This is arugula, by the way. That's dandelion. That might be chard over there. I'm not sure what these are. But we're gonna put our hoop house, our cold frame hoop house, over this part of the bed, let it warm up a little bit, and see what grows. I see there's some kale here as well coming up. There's some purple lettuce. Really neat. So, with our cold frame, we made, of course, we made a video about how to make a cold frame as well. The end of it has a thermatic vent, so it'll open and close to try and moderate the temperature. Uh, this is three years old. I should probably replace the plastic, but I'm gonna try and squeak out another year of it. So let me pull this up. There you go, high tech cold frame. By the way, this uh, vent, this I need to replace this supply what's falling apart, but you can get this vent <laughs> yes, at your home improvement store. You wanna ask for a vent to vent a root cellar. It's built to slip into the size of a cinder block. So if you have a, a home that you know just has a crawl space, it's a crawl space vent. That's basically what it is. Charlie, Argy. So we also pruned our apple trees. This is a really old one, which um, produces really, really great apples. We think it might be like a wine sap or something like that, but we can never tell. Excuse me, I have to throw the ball. Give me the ball. That's our other apple tree over there. But this one has kind of an arching habit, and we've talked about this in some of our other pruning videos. But this spring, there were a bunch of what we call water spouts, which are these thin, one-year-old limbs that are sticking straight up in the middle of the tree, and we cut all those off. Spouts, not sprouts. Water spout, water sprout. I don't know. Water Someone spout. will email us and tell us this, or comment <laughs> below. But what you want to do, what you could also do is, if you want to, you can train these so they bend over. And my idea here is for this tree is to have kind of an arching habit, so it's easy to reach up and harvest all the fruit instead of having it 30 feet up in the air. Low hanging fruit. Low everywhere. hanging fruit. Well, what you could do is if you have this going straight up and you can train it to arch by attaching a string to the end here to a stone or a brick or something. And that way you arch the limb. We did that. We've done that before. We're gonna do it on this one too because there's a couple that I left up. There's a couple of tall guys here. And we'll just bring them down. Moosey, come here. 
We have some people walking up the street. Oh, <laughs> All right, I gotta go. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Come to our site, gardenfork.tv. More cool stuff. All right? Bend the branches. Bend your branches. Charlie! <laughs>